Hi YouTube, it's Blue Girl. I'm back again with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on Panzoid. That's right. Because I'm actually trying to figure out how to make a intro. So I guess I figured it out a little bit. Um, so let's go to Panzoid.com. Uh, you want to click on the first link in Google, whatever web browser you're using. Uh, what you're going to do is you are going to choose what you want to do. I want to do an outro template. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. So here is the one I chose here. It's an end video. It's called outro, which meaning what they see at the end of the video. I'm not sure if I can play you. One, but let me speak. One second. So here's the video that I made, and I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Here's the outro. Go ahead and play it. Alright, so if you want to learn how to make this video, Please stay tuned. So once you get to Panzoid, you're going to go to um, any outro you want. I'm going to be using this one as I, as you've seen in the video. And this was pretty difficult for me. Um, so I figured out a couple things. So over here to the left, there is a panel. And you have different things. You have your basics which is your basic settings. The first thing you want to do is fix your video resolution. I'm working on 1080p. Whatever your video is, your other video before this video is, that's what you want to do. So I'm going to keep it at 1080p. Here's your frame rate. I'm going to keep that at 30 seconds. Here's the length. I'm actually not going to do 20 seconds. That's pretty long. So I'm going to change it to 9 seconds. Down here is your scenes, which I'm not going to touch. Here is where all of your objects are. The objects are everything that is in this video. Now, this is where it gets a little difficult. To add a video in this square, over here is your objects panel, and it names it. Now, what you want to do is make sure that you have this little eye thing off okay that way you can see it and then you're gonna move it inside out okay then you're going to click you see here where it has this uh, yellow line you're going to find the box so wherever it says previous video is where your square this is a square is going to be so here's previous video see how it highlighted it so it's above here somewhere now here's the uh, this little thing in the inside so we know that whatever we put in here is going to go in here so how do we do that so right here where it says appearances which was a little confusing to me you're going to click on the little arrow and you're going to click video now you get all of these options right under video here you're going to go over and hit select and this is where we're going to select the video so let's say I want to add that one and there it is now if I want to preview what this is doing I could click on this eye toggler here and then preview okay so click it off so I can see what I'm doing now how do we type in information up in here well you're gonna go back to the object objects panel and you're going to look for something that says your name. Okay, here we are in the text panel. Now, right down here under 3D text, you're going to type in whatever you want. So I'm going to do short video. Okay, now in order to get that to go in there so you can see it, just click anywhere. 
<coughs> now, excuse me. If you want to resize, you're going to go here to height and you are going to lower that. I'm Click fine. anywhere. Okay. If you want it to go back to a different, a bigger size, just press bigger, just type in a bigger size. And this also controls the thickness of the text. Now, we're going to keep going so this video won't be too long. So over here where it says subscribe, you're going to look for subscribe. Bam, there it is. You can change that text right here. But we want to put something in this circle, which can only be a picture. So it's obviously under, we got to look for a shape because it's a shape. Here's the circle. See how it highlighted it with the yellow box? So we're going to find the middle, which I believe is this one. Because for some reason, you get two. So down here in appearances, again, you're going to change that to image. If it turns white, you have selected the correct area. You can press select. You can do find your picture. I'm going to do this one. Bam, there it is. So if I click on the eye toddler again, this is the video. Now, it's pretty bright because that is, this is a template that I'm using that someone else created. So I'm pretty sure you can turn that down and I haven't figured that out yet. So if anybody knows, let me know. That'd be great. So now, if you want to download this, you're going to go right here back to the left side of the panel. And you're going to press a little arrow down. Now you are going to start video rendering it. Here you can choose your formats. I always choose the MKV. And then you can choose your balance. You can render faster, but I would just keep it the way it is or it's going to mess up. Okay. And then after it's done rendering, you're gonna it's gonna take about a few minutes and then you're gonna get a download um, button that will appear press download and save it to your video files and then that is it and once I figure out more ways to do this I will put more videos up if you like this video give me a thumbs up and please subscribe so I can make more tutorials thanks for watching